In our first two episodes, we addressed the importance of digital tools and teacher training. Now we would like to speak about ready-made lessons. When we asked educators about the experience with migrant students, they indicated that having ready-made lessons is extremely useful. Indeed, lessons and textbooks that take into account the background of the students can really facilitate their integration. With that in mind, our next three episodes will introduce projects that offer lesson plans for teachers with different pedagogical approaches. Today, we will look at how combining STEM with arts can make learning more engaging. Let's hear about STEAM building, which offers ready-to-use tools for educators teaching STEAM disciplines to students from different backgrounds. STEAM building means uh, an opportunity to build the skills related to the STEAM topics, but also a relation with the word team. We build uh, a box with uh, different activities inside is a, a box ready to use so the teacher can do the training and this is an online training and after this training they receive the box they bring the box in the class and can do all the activities with the student the students had the opportunity to make experiment and put in action with a lot of different games for example, they build a small robot, they do an exercise to uh, discover how the different uh, rubbish uh, change in the earth or in the water to understand these things. And uh, so the final result was uh, a funny and interactive way to bring STEAM close to young people. STEAM building uh, was uh, and he's also a project for inclusion of people with uh, a migrant background. So for example, the instruction uh, we're translating in different language. We have English, French, and Arabic. At the beginning in one school, we had only a few classes involved. And uh, we went and did the activity for the first time with the first class. And uh, the week after we have uh, many more classes asking to do the same activities. So the teachers feel that is a very, a very added value. We ask to all the students to fill a survey before do the activity and to fill again this in the answering to the same questions at the end. And what we discover is that after the opportunity to play and with this subject, they answer better, so the, per the percentage of uh, correct answer increased. One uh, student uh, gave, uh, in my opinion, or in our opinion, the best answer we could hope to receive, because uh, he said, um, before do the activity, I thought that uh, STEAM are very boring uh, subject, and so I didn't think uh, they could be related to me. But uh, now uh, I discovered that uh, they can be very funny, very interesting, and I could uh, consider a future in this field. Now it's time for musical languages and the STEAM learning scenarios that use music as a means of integrating students. The main objective is that of integrating um, foreign students who are in my school uh, through uh, the uh, learning of music from the emotional point of view, but also uh, music uh, uh, as um, a topic for uh, science, math and for technology in general. We worked in uh, teams with music teachers and also math, science and technology teachers to create these scenarios to integrate music and uh, um, and all these other subjects. So uh, three scenarios are about music and emotions, and uh, three uh, three scenarios are more focused on uh, physics, the physics of sound, and also uh, the um, and maths maths in music because. Well, we all know that 
uh, musical notes are in fact uh, fractions. And, um, and, and then three scenarios that integrate all these things into um, using robots or, uh, um, or technology, pixel art and, and other things to make uh, say, uh, music more interactive for the students. The background information like um, the physics of sound or how to read um, music and so on, all these uh, uh, worksheets have been translated into four languages, Chinese, Arabic, Albanian and Georgian. The impact was uh, huge because, uh, well, first of all, they uh, finally had uh, um, something to read in their own language. They realized that it is much easier to get integrated if they have, uh, if they can have the same basic knowledge as the others. But also, uh, the fact of uh, having a lot of uh, um, hands-on activities. This was very, very uh, good for them because a lot of the scenarios were based on um, um, a laboratory approach. So they had to do things and make hypotheses on these things that were, they were doing. So they had then to uh, actually provide their um, their acquired knowledge to other groups. We also used other techniques that were very um, good for them, like design thinking. They were uh, asked to go around and ask about other cultures, uh, emotions and so on. So this was very good. And also uh, we had hackathon, uh, which was good because if, uh, after uh, doing the activities, they had to uh, say uh, why they uh, got the solution and uh, what were the advantages and disadvantages of the solution. And it was very good to see them participating finally, even though they could not speak very much uh, uh, Italian. Finally, let's hear from STEM identities and food culture, which encourages students to use food science to connect their cultural heritage with STEM concepts. The basic idea of this project was uh, to connect uh, food science and uh, food culture to the STEM lessons um, uh, in order to make uh, cultural responsive uh, learning and teaching. We have uh, several different kinds of activities. Uh, one was making a focus group of teachers that was producing learning scenarios. So in this part we were uh, exploring exploring um, STEM concepts and how to connect them to food culture. Uh, then we produce the learning scenarios and uh, apply them in the classroom. And also the most uh, challenging, but I also think the most uh, interesting part was uh, making a video diary of the project, where we made uh, videos for every lesson. Since 20 lessons was created during the project, that um, shortly described the, the 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 lesson and cultural concept and STEM concept together, and uh, we uh, made a website where we collected and. Um, put all the ma creative materials so other teachers and educators and people interested in this topic uh, can see that and use that in their practice. The students uh, enjoy uh, the activities. Um, they uh, prepared a lot of materials and they like to this approach where they uh, could learn some mathematical or biological or chemical concept through hands-on activities. And um, we made a lot of <laughs> nice food during the, the, the whole project, a lot of uh, cakes, uh, salads, uh, so we, we dis discussed uh, uh, healthy lifestyles, um, uh, then um, uh, some uh, entrepreneurship uh, ideas, uh, so, so many concepts was tackled through the, through the project and students really, really enjoyed. They didn't have this um, feeling that they are overwhelmed with the STEM concept, with the 
uh, science with the content that they don't understand. It was very relaxed uh, atmosphere and students really accepted that very good. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week for episode four, where we will explore content and language integrated learning.